once again to howtocookgreatfood.com. If you haven't already, please click that button and subscribe to our channel. Tuna, fresh tuna we've got today. Uh, this is quite a chunky fellow we've got here. A nice tuna loin. Several ways you can cook it. I've had loads and loads of emails about this. I mean, you can eat it raw. You can kind of chop it up and have a kind of tartar type thing. You can fry it, fry it, you know, so you've got some nice steaks. We can cut some steaks and do that. Just several ways. I mean, again, you can just sear it so it's kind of cooked on the outside and then pretty much raw in the middle. Cook it however you like. I mean, you can make a curry out of it. You can do anything you want. So I'm going to do a couple of things today with it. Let's get on with it. Okay, so as you can see, I've got two different cuts here. This is the kind of nice little kind of medallions, the kind of prime fillet bit. And then on this side, where you can see it's kind of got more of that white and that in it. This is good for, you know, like a curry, a stew, or, or something like that, something to cook in, in a sauce maybe. But yeah, these are nice little kind of little steaks. So let's start doing a few little steaks, then we'll move on to that. Okay, so you need a skillet, pan, or whatever you want for this version. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put some olive oil in there. Get a little bit of heat through that. We're not on a massively high heat. Now, I, I would say the best way to cook this is the simplest way. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, that's it. But you can start adding whatever you want. I'm gonna add a few little bits today. So what we need to do, we're gonna get our little medallions in just as that heat's coming through. Now you can cook these all the way through like a beef steak, you know, like I'm sure if I made this video and, and you know only seared the outside, lots of people would say, oh it's raw inside, da 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 da. Of course that's your preference. Like a steak, cook it how you like. I mean you can cook it all the way through, well done. That's up to you. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna introduce some garlic here, like that. Whole, don't sort of chop it. I mean I've just cut those cloves in half in fact, but you know, not chopped. I'm going to go a little bit of salt. Just get some black pepper in there. And then I've got some lovely thyme here, fresh thyme, which I'm just going to throw into the pan, whole like that. You could be doing rosemary, basil, anything you want really. Now, pretty much straight away, I can use my hand to flip that. You'll see that it's gone that white colour instantly. Let's grab my knife here. And you may be able to see there. So, some people would like this flipped now. So, it's cooked there, cooked there, but nice and pink in the middle. That is entirely up to you. But yeah, I'm gonna go kind of medium-ish, I suppose. But yeah, please don't think you have to eat this raw or just seared. If you want it cooked all the way through, just do it that way. Okay, so I'm gonna keep these going. It's gonna only be like sort of three minutes now. And they're gonna be done. You wanna just brush this fresh herb around and the garlic just needs a little show into them, you know, just a little, little rub there. As you can see, I've got it on there. I think that's quite nice. Back in about two or three minutes. Okay, so that's definitely going to be pink on the inside. But that's kind of how I want it. Just at the very end, while they're still in there, some lime or some lemon juice. I just like that. Always works well with fish. In that goes. If you want it now, you can put some butter in there to mix with that citrus. That could be quite nice. But yeah, this is pretty simple. And that's ready to serve. And there we go. As you can see, you've got that nice bit of pink in the center. That's exactly where I want it to be. Super easy. Hope you enjoy that. Let's move on. Okay, so I've kept that same pan because 
a kind of similar vibe in flavours. So again, we're going to top this up with a little olive oil. I'm now going to drop in some chunky sliced garlic, some chopped white onion. Again, salt, black pepper. Now let's cook these around for about three, four minutes. Just to soften them a little bit. This is a kind of really simple Mediterranean-ish type of tuna recipe. So yeah, a couple of minutes, be back then. Okay, so it's got a little colour on them now. Optional, a bit of red chilli. Or you could be thinking about maybe some black or green olives in there. Or even some maybe some anchovy. You know, a little tin of anchovies in the mix there would be fantastic for this. Now we're going to go in with our tuna, our kind of off cut or the kind of the not so best end of the loin, but still absolutely wonderful. And then some fresh tomatoes. Drop them in. About four to five minutes on this kind of just below a medium heat. Let's throw this around in the pan. Okay, so I'm quite happy where this tuna is again. There's some pink still happening. It's not cooked all the way through, but you cook it exactly how you want. Right at the end, some fresh basil straight in there. Then I'm gonna go in again with some lime or lemon. Now if you wanted, you could be thinking about a little bit of white wine in here. But for me, that is absolutely wonderful. Super fresh. Some lovely flavours happening there. Still quite simple. I hope you enjoy that guys. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you soon. Lots of love. With thousands of recipes and millions of views, why not subscribe to our channel and join the family?